How are you now? Howdy. I'm Travis. I'm Kevin. And this is Action 8 Prospecting. Why am I yelling already? Look at how we... Oh, man. It's going to be a good day. We're out on Taylor Creek on one of the RMPA club claims. We've got five, six different machines set up. Here we got some different high bakers, a brand new gold hog, strong bra with him, a ton of some misery mountain mining. We'll go talk to him in a little bit. He's got his own custom homemade set up, and you know how we love those. Our good buddy Patty's down there with his keen high baker, and our new buddy Wes is down there with the Mini Max, and then someone showed up with the dredge that's here too. Um, so uh, I'm excited, obviously. Pitter patter, let's get at her. We're going to get some shiny today. Sorry about the loud noise, but Ron's putting his very first bucket through the gold hog. A little lighter next time. A little lighter next time, he says. Here it goes. Whoop! Woo, that's a splashy! Woo! What a rip! Yeah, buddy! Get her way up there, huh, bud? Looks like she's flowing pretty good. I done lost my voice from yelling already. Up, folks. Yeah, that clay cloth's a good investment for these, most definitely. All right, I just want to show everybody what's going on. Here I am right on the road, right between pretty much two and three on Taylor Creek. What a day. We are obviously making some chocolate milk today. We are moving some dirt. Bunch of club members out today. There's actually people, uh, if you've seen our previous videos where I was out by, we were out by the waterfall uh, digging. I know our good buddy Jeremy is up there. We're going to have to go try to find him. Because uh, I think he's got his four inch sluice and running an 85 inch or a four inch dredge and running an 85 inch sluice. So we got to go find those boys and see what they're up to. But I want to take everyone a quick walk down the creek and kind of say hi to everybody and show everybody uh, what we're working with and what we're doing today. This is pretty exciting. It took us a little time to get Ron's gold hog running, but luckily, with this many people together working together, we was able to have all the parts we needed and Bush fixed it and got it going. This is our good buddy Wes. Say hi, Wes. Oh, hello. Wes is just down here in the bank working these cobbles. Oh, right. See how far we can get. See if we can wake his way down to the bedrock. That's always the goal. Find the bedrock, get the shiny. He's running the Mini Max. These are pretty awesome. Maybe later he'll have that turned on and we'll come back down and take a look at it again. Let's go back up the creek here. This is great. I mean, having this many people on one bank working and everyone's going to be finding gold today. Don't forget, guys. You want to come out, you want to find gold, you want to join the club, it's only 10 bucks a month. And you get to come out and play with all these cool people, learn some new machines, check everything out. We all know Patty. Hey guys. You know, that's the German that goes west. His machine's clear down there, pumping up. He's just running good old Keen High Banker. Nothing too, too fancy about that. I'm going to step here in there. I know some big holes in this water right now because we got dredge holes, but. Oh, he's even going to put a shovel on this show. Is it working? Look at that. Oh, spray bars. Everyone's just working kind of this same side of the bank here. Um, you've probably seen Travis and I actually do some dredging here in the past. This is the first place I ever found a picker dredging. So we already know there's gold. This is the coolest setup of the day, though. We've got Carter and Tim. You guys are with Misery Mountain Mining. I'm going to put a link in there in the description for their YouTube check them out they're all about homemade mining too this is 
this is a really cool little wash plate. Do you want to, like, I don't want to interrupt you because you're moving so much material right now, but you want to just a quick walkthrough for us, if you don't mind, sir? Yeah, all righty. So right here, you can kind of have your hopper box. It holds a lot of material, and it can really take the weight. Now, you have a little dredge box off an inch and a half dredge, and it's just suspended. All this is doing is dropping the material into the boxes. Now, this homemade box isn't doing so great, so we have a long time on here just trying to get overall recovery not necessarily out of an individual box and uh, yeah it can move about two yards an hour if you put your heart to it you look like you're putting your heart to it bud too oh yeah I mean how was how as nice was that to like drive above the clouds today and actually get into sunshine yeah like, this beats the heck out of what we've been dealing with lately yeah we're, yeah. Up, on, we're up on County Mountain today Charlie we're up on County Mountain today exactly you know and a real quick shout out to public mining you know you guys got to come out and join this because this is the best piece of ground you're ever going to work all of their claims are a lot of fun you get these group activities with all these different guys out here and that's major you know you don't find that anymore and if you do it's kind of private and closed so this is good man it's exciting to pull up and just see everybody just working yeah and getting it. it's, uh, it's a great feeling so you just that's just a uh that's just a weed whacker Pretty much, Pretty much yeah. right? Yeah, right? That's literally a weed whacker engine. <laughs> yes, sir. And, then, and so that's just so you have the only water is from his hose, right? Yeah, well, we got the. And we actually right added a small gold cube today, and it looks like it's clogged up. Oh, there. okay. Okay. So that's what your. I was wondering what your battery was here for. Yeah, I got a little solar panel up there as well. So you are actually putting more water just to kind of help push things down. Exactly, because it seems like that one box likes to clog up. Now this isn't our normal running creek, we prefer brush creek, and so this is, you know, every condition changes on each creek, you know, and I've been running right. it in the same spot each time. Right, right. So this is a new setup, and it just felt new to me, and just trying to keep running good. That's that's the whole point, that's why they call it prospecting, right? Hey, right. Figure it as we go. We're not miners yet. No. Uh, I love that your whole thing actually fits in its whole thing. I mean, because it's in, uh, it's in a wheelbarrow, and everything goes in. You know, the there's actually a story behind this. I spent a month out in the Sunstone Desert camping in a van, and I built this classifier for gemstones, not necessarily to catch any, uh, not for gold. And I was keeping what was in the top of the classifier before. Now I care about what's going through it, so it's kind of backwards. It's a twofer. It is. It's all about how many birds with how, with one stone, right? Yeah. Right on. All right, I'm gonna let you guys get back to work. Awesome. I Thank think you. Travis needs my help moving some buckets too. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to knock this bank down and make it safe. <laughs> yes, knock the bank down and make it safe. That's what we're doing out here. We're just trying to make it safe. That's yeah. why we're moving this material. Just making a nice, a nice walking path down this creek for people to enjoy. Yeah, exactly. Right? Because you keep you, it pretty, you know. Got to keep it nice. Really appreciates us and our work. Oh, I'm sure though, they appreciate us a lot, bud. <laughs> Is that what they appreciate about us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. And in the same bank. There's Travis, aka Bobcat. And all he's doing is filling these buckets up. And Ron is dumping them in the high banker in the gold hog. Headings coming out the back. Go going down the front. Hi you buddy. Good. Are you having fun? Happy. Do you love it? Love it. Do you love it? Love you better it. tell you better say thanks, Miss Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. We love you, Nikki. Love you. All right. Get her powder, let's get back at her. Here they come. Alright, so it's lunch time. We're gonna shut her down, take some lunch. Over for my cut. I heard it. <laughs> take a quick peek. Just right cut. there at the small top. Look at all that gold lined up on the top. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right, so there it is. $10 a month, and within an hour and a half, we've obviously found over $10 of gold. Oh, look at it. Look at, like a bunch of scavengers. Yeah. Look at them all coming. 1% <laughs> paid off. 1% <laughs> paid off. Look at that. Oh, dude, look at that piece. Look at that picker. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey, you did pretty good. Oh, dude, look at those two. Right there. Are 
Project. He picks it off this loose and a punchy Connor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to take a piece. We're gonna see who can wrestle in this mud real quick, bud. Yeah, we're, gonna, yeah. we're gonna find out who the real gold hoggy is. <laughs> Alright, I don't need a sandwich. I think we're all going for lunch. Yep, yeah. seems about that. Okay, right, he's got his little electric pump and Oh that's why I got it, so I can go anywhere and hide. <laughs> Fair enough. Good call. That thing's really cool. He's got a lot of traps. Yeah, and they're big down on the bottom too. That's kind of nice right there, the way that's going to know you have any nuggets. You'll see them yeah, right there. You, uh, a lot of times I, that's where I, just, I can see them right here. Well, I can't say a lot. I say the, the few times I've done it, I ran this. That's a cool machine. I like it. There too. And then it comes apart and take this off and put the flare on here for the sluice. It all folded all together pretty. It looked like it was pretty easy for you to move down to the creek too. Oh yeah. That's why I got it. <laughs> some guys on the other side of the cover setting up now too. Let's go see what they have. Now, Carter and Tim, they've uh, cleared a big patch of the bedrock and ran through their awesome little wash plant here and took a lunch break because that's what you got to do. Got to stay refueled and hydrated. And before he starts digging again, he's just going to go over it with the awesome little gold bug too. See if he gets any pings, see if he might have missed anything before he start digging and moving stuff around. Always a smart idea before he goes back and clean. I don't care how good your wash plant's going to be, you're always going to lose some gold. So this is always a smart way to make sure that you're not going to lose any of the big gold. Amen. Better pattern. And when you're working with that rough bedrock, you know, it's really important that you're checking it because you lose all sorts of stuff. And I like to go through with a water pump and wash that bedrock so I can look through it and make sure nothing bigger is caught up. I've gone through and thought I've had holes cleaned and then gone back with my rough bristled brush and pulled out, you know, 10, 12 more pieces of color out of it. So. I mean, you'll never get every piece, but try to get every piece that you can, right? Oh, yeah. Exactly. Look at that. More people. You guys meet Casey?
Let's shut it down, boys! That's it. That's going to be hard to roll up. Well, that was fun. What a great day out here. Didn't collect as much gold as I'd hoped we would, but just the fact of how many different people showed up to do some prospecting today is amazing. So let's go. Uh, let's go look at the creek and look at all the work everyone did today. Is oh boy, howdy, did we? You can see, I mean, Wes did some work in that bank. Got him a nice little hole. Casey showed up for a little bit with his little two inch dredge and made himself a nice little side pocket hole here. Oh shit, there's a bear! <laughs> These guys definitely put in some work today and now he's clever. You've seen how his whole wash plant was set up earlier. He washed all the bedrock. Now he's just going to come back and suck it up real quick. Oh! 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 Mmm! And we made quite a nice little hole ourselves here. I mean, that is a lot of material moved. Probably about one and a half yards. A little disappointing that I only pulled 80 bitty, 40, 50 small, 80 bitty colors out of there. One right here. Y'all see me pull six pickers out of that hole. But that's Taylor Creek. It's spotted. But we'll wait for everybody else to do their cleanups. They'll send me the pictures. I'll add them to the video. And hopefully we'll see some nice gold. So unfortunately while we were out on the creek, the camera on the battery died. The camera on the battery died. <laughs> So yeah, we're back at the homestead now. Um, if you want a chance to see all the gold that was found on this adventure, uh, a few different ways, make sure you check out our Instagram. That's at HNH Prospecting. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna put some links in the bottom for Misery Mountain Mining, so you guys can see their setup and the gold that they found, and uh, Jefferson State as well. They were up there on the other side of the claim doing some dredging. Um, guys, we finally got the gold slinger buckets in. So make sure you watch the next video on uh, how to win one of those. I think that's going to do it for us for this one. Big thanks out to RMPA. Big thank you to everyone that came out. It sure was cool to see all those different equipments running and operating. Hopefully we'll get out with everybody soon. Back up on Brush Creek and put some more gold to that gold hog. If you got anything else production, big thanks to our subscribers. As always, get that shiny.